how are you guys doing today? I know you are good. In fact, as a matter of fact, I know that some of you, some of you have traveled to the village. Abi, you have traveled to the village to go and enjoy for Christmas while we are stuck in this diaspora, this dry place. Eh? Chai, I wish I can just be like you people and travel to the village. Ah, anyway, my name is Nazo Eze and this is my little corner of YouTube. If you're new here, you're welcome. So, this video, I want to try and make it as short as possible, but I don't know how possible that is going to be. But anyway, no matter how long is it, <laughs> no matter how long it is, I'm just praying and hoping that you will stick with me till the end of this video. Because I want to talk about something. I've made a video about this matter before. Like some, let me say, a few sit-down videos ago, I talked about my experience. I shared my experience in boarding school with you guys. So, for some days now, boarding school matter has been trending online. And each time I, I come across such posts, I just laugh. I'm like, it's like these people know that they can read somebody's mind. Because... Ignore, if you're hearing any noise, it's from the fridge. I think it's the ice maker. Just ignore it. And then the one that is cry crying upstairs, if you're hearing her voice, ignore her as well. I've tried my best to pacify her, but she just keeps crying. So, for some days, like I said, every time, almost every time I go online, I see one boarding school story. Well, the one that is triggering this post right now, even though I shared my experience, just my own experience, I didn't talk about the disadvantages and the bad things that happens in boarding school but today we are gonna tackle all those things because i saw a video that triggered this video and i'm sure a lot of you saw that video as well that woman that took her son to deeper life high school boarding school and then she was complaining and really ranting she was angry and me itself i was angry she she showed us a picture of her son the day she took him to that school and then the day she was bringing him back home from a chubby boy, this boy had emancipated to what I don't know. See, that, that video and the pictures were very heartbreaking. And then I said, let me come and talk about this thing here. I know that from that, my video, a lot of people said, yeah, that boarding school it was that their best memories. Did I say memories? See, anything. That their best memories came from their boarding school days, that they really had a, a good time in their boarding school days. I know that there are a lot of people that really enjoyed boarding school, which me, I'm not one of them. And this boy apparently was not one of them. But from these posts now that have surfaced online about boarding school, come and see comments. Come and see comments of people talking about how horrible boarding school was to them and how they swore that their kids would never go there just like me. So I'm going to be sharing some of these comments. I'm going to be sharing them on the screen and I'll be reacting to some of these comments. That woman's video, if you saw it, do like this in the comment section. It was horrible. And apart from that, I've heard other stories. I know family members that their kids have gone through hell in boarding school. And there's a question I'm going to ask towards the end of this video. I'm coming to that. So, Idris Abdul Karim made a post on Instagram. I'm going to be reading from this my phone I'm, because I'm, I'm going to share the picture on the screen. Okay, he said, boarding schools have become parents' nightmare. After paying and sacrificing so much, you may end up with a, with a psychologically damaged child. It is true. Like I said before, some children went there and came out normal. But just know that boarding experience can either make or mar your child and from comments i saw too i i discovered that it depends on the school that you take your child to some schools are not just it at all some schools that you expect to do better are even doing what's okay, okay like this deeper life school now who would have expected that a christian school would treat a child in that manner the woman was saying that they maltreated her child they were starving her child. I think he even went through abuse and they threatened him not to tell or he will be a dead boy. Like, there are some horrible schools out there, but how do you get to know? Yeah, maybe from people's experiences or maybe when you research about it and hear stories from people that are there, but sometimes it might not turn out well. That is why me, me, I have sworn that 
none of my kids will go to boarding school. Yeah, I'm in the diaspora now, I'm in the US. But I said then, let's before I moved to the US, I said that my kids were not going to go there. Anyway, let me not be rambling. Let me start reading these comments. Okay, so this one said, funny enough, back then, some actually send their chubby kids to boarding school so that they can shed a little weight. Does this one make sense? This is very stupid. If if how can a parent send their child to boarding school just to lose weight. I know that some people actually do it, but it's so stupid to me. I'm sorry to use that word, but that's exactly how I feel. You do, they didn't even, it's not even that they send their child to boarding school for them to be responsible or for them to, to yeah, to be responsible and to learn some things about life and all that is now for them to lose weight. The same way I read in one comment section that some actually send their kids, let's say their, their children bed wet. Some send their children to boarding school so that they would help them to stop them from bed wetting. Imagine, what is that? Will make any sense? It doesn't make any sense. Okay, this one said, those days you'll be hearing, carry and go boarding school, make it for no go spoil. These days, now something else. Now that boarding school will be the headquarter of corruption now. And this is true. That's why I keep saying that if, you, if you're one of those parents that insist, despite all the stories that abound everywhere, that your child must go to a boarding school, Biko, do your research well. Shine your eye well. Most of these schools breed corrupt children. Corrupt children. That you'll be so shocked that at that their little ages, they are capable of such evil and corruption. This one said, my cousin changed totally after returning from boarding school. This boy fits lie, give you, when you already know the truth and you will believe him. He will take something that doesn't belong to him and lie that he isn't the one that took it. You will even believe him because of the way he will present the lie for you. And then the comments under that, this one said, are you sure you are talking about your cousin because you just described mine? Another one said, very accurate. Another one said, wow, I know someone who went to boarding school who is a very big liar. I hope your cousin changes because there is nothing worse than a grown man that easily lies. Next comment. Are you sure you're not talking about my niece? She fits into this answer. Same here. Because the lies is most times the only rescue from bully and unnecessary punishment. This emerald person is trying to justify or to explain why some kids lie like that when they come back from boarding school. That maybe they tell those lies. They form that habit of lying in a bid to escape the punishments and the bullying and everything. Okay, this one said, please check well because I think you're talking about my cousin and she's just dead seen, no, but she lies more than anybody I've met in my life. Okay, all these people that are commenting now, lying is one of the bad attributes they pick from boarding school, among other things. So under this particular comment thread is the lying that they are really focusing on. Boarding schools of this generation is nothing good to write home about. The maltreatment and abuse is totally getting out of hands lesbians and gays are gradually originating from boarding houses may god never let me have the reason to send my kids to a boarding house whether you believe it or not most of these lesbians and gays out there it came for it started from boarding school most of them were not born that way for most of them it is a learned behavior and where do they learn it from from boarding school see argue with i don't know what to do, whether i should tell you to argue with your phone or argue with whatever that is, I believe, I'm of this school of thought. I believe what this person said because, yes, I saw things. I saw things in my own time. So these things happen. Especially, let's say, one, you know what this school mother, school daughter thing? Let's say the school mother is a lesbian. Of course, there is no how she will not initiate the school daughter into that fold. You can't tell me nothing, especially the all-girls all school or the all-boys school. That is what it is. It's true that it's not all of them that end up being that way. But majority of them, okay, let me not say majority. Most of them pick that behavior from boarding schools. Remember, I mentioned lying. Now, this one, the lesbianism and the gayism and the rest of them. Those are not just the bad attributes they pick from there. And then the wickedness. Oh my God, the wickedness. I'm coming to that question I said I was going to ask at the end of this video. Oh, -ho. Senior Pamela of FGGC Boko. Charity House Room 7. I have not been able to get your bullying off my mind so many years after. Wherever you are, God will punish you and never stop punishing you. Olo, she's senior. Okay, that senior Pamela probably has moved on. She has forgotten that there is a junior girl that has this type of mind 
towards her. And then in, the, in, in her life now, when things are not going well, she'll be blaming village people. You don't know that somebody has tied you down with their mind. And um, see, this wickedness, ugh. the bullying, the bullying that goes on there. How can you send your child to boarding school with a box of provisions and within a week, everything has been taken from your child? Your child goes to school chubby and comes home emancipated. You punish children at will, like children punishing children. Who, not to talk of the housemasters and the housemistresses that, that punish them unnecessarily, that turn them into... See, eh? boarding school, actually, in Nigeria, boarding schools in Nigeria, because I believe that the ones abroad are not like the ones in Nigeria. Those things are... are Concentration camps under disguise, where a lot of abuse goes on. And these children are so helpless, they don't have anybody to complain to. So they have no choice but to bear and endure the abuse that goes on there. And you say, me, I should come and send my child to boarding school in Awa. Some will say it's so that it will make their children strong. My brother went to a boarding school as well. Nigerian Navy, like I went to Nigerian Navy Secondary School, Ojo. My brother went to Nigerian Navy Secondary School, Abiokuta. He did not last up to two years there. My brother was traumatized. The things he went through there. And the stories he told us about the things that happened there. How can children, I keep saying children because SS, in SS3, are they even older than 17 years? Some of them are 16 years. Some of them are 15 years because of the way that children enter school at early ages now. Mm? How can a child from, from 15 to 17 years have that type of wicked heart? I'm asking, okay, that's the question I was going to ask. How do they have that ability to be so wicked? Okay, back then in, in um, Abiyokuta, my brother told us the story of how, you know how senior boys, they would, they would go and fetch poo, poo inside buckets from the soccer wheel or something and come and pour on a junior boy on his bed as he's sleeping. Or a senior would call junior boys to surround him and fan him till morning. They will keep on fanning him with, with their hand fans that they bring to school. They will fan him like a king till morning. People's children, their parents are back home sleeping. Their sleep siblings too will be back home sleeping, not knowing that their child is there fanning another person's child from night till morning. And then they will threaten you. I think, I personally, I feel like the boys have it worse than the girls in boarding school because boys, they can torture. Okay, in my own school, Nigerian Navy Secondary School, Ojo, I remember then, I think I was in JS2 when this thing happened. I was a new student then. I remember one time they called out one senior boy on the assembly ground and I think he was expelled. What did he do? He made a junior boy drink his urine. Does the senior boy urinated in a cup and gave a junior boy to drink it and forced him to drink it. I don't know what the junior boy did. I do not care. What, what, would he, what would anybody do to you that will warrant you peeing in a cup and giving that person to drink? That senior boy did it to the junior boy. I remember that he was flogged and he was expelled. It's it's, it is terrible. It's so bad. Let me go back to the comments. I used to say my kids will attend a boarding school, but with what I'm seeing and hearing nowadays, no way. Okay, this person now, Ferris Queen, said, you can't really generalize. It depends on the school. Some of us turned out fine. Like I said, it can make or mar your child. Some of them actually turn out well. It depends on the school your child went to. And even if your child goes to one of those horrible schools, it depends on the experiences or whatever, the people your child surrounds himself or herself with. Some of them still come out fine from the same boarding school and some come out horrible. Some even die. See, I've heard stories where students gang up against a, a child, the fellow students, and bully the person to death. You have not heard? Me, I've heard. Captain Gaddafi said, I think boarding school should be abolished. It is becoming something else. Instead of making the best out of students, it's making the worst out of them. Good children turns bad and all. And Chizzy Official says, boarding school of those days is no longer the boarding school of now. And I actually agree. I agree. Even though wickedness abound, abounded, was abound, there was wickedness then, is even worse now. And I don't know why. I don't know why. And I keep wondering. See, if my, like, let's say I was in Nigeria, 
I know my, my children don't have that, that, that type of wickedness in them, but if I ever hear that my child bullied someone and I find out that my child is capable of such wickedness, ha! <laughs> uh, moving on. Boarding houses don't take care of kids sent to them. Most kids, they're thongy. Some molested by teachers. It either makes or mar your kids. Okay, that's what this Amaka lady said. Her last sentence, it either makes or mar your kids. Most kids, they're thongy. Okay, now, some molested by teachers. Do you believe that it is true or not? You know it is true. You know that teachers, housemasters, and housemistresses actually molest children. And by molesting, I'm talking about sexual abuse. They molest them sexually and then they they torture them. They do. They really do. <laughs> Wahala for your daughter if her school mother is a lesbian. She don't change your daughter. She don't change your daughter's straight factory setting be that. Did I not talk it? Didn't I talk it? A school mother and school daughter. If your daughter's school mother is a lesbian, there is no way. She will not turn your child. See, when I said my children will not go to boarding school, I considered a lot of factors. A lot of factors came into play. I considered so many things before I came to that decision. And most people still say, despite everything going on, that their children will go to boarding school. Oh, they ma. It's so good. Upsy daisy. See, upsy daisy. Upsy daisy said, I totally agree. I attended boarding school and the bullying alone no be small. I am still looking for one senior that dehumanized me and my best friend in school for saying that she is gay when we did not. Her cousin lied against us. My best friend fought for her life in the hospital for a whole week. Housemistress came to our rescue. Even with obvious evidences of battery, we still said they did nothing to us i don't understand this particular sentence well she shall said piece of advice please raise your kids yourself her she said her best friend fought for her life in the hospital for a whole week after the dehumanization and i keep asking i'm still asking that question what manner of wickedness exists in these little children of 14 15 16 17 years old like how how do they have it in them to think up such evil thoughts of how to bully how to abuse how to dehumanize their fellow students i don't i don't understand is it like is it as a result of the the peer pressure that goes on there i'm is a question that i'm that i'm throwing out as usual why, why do you think that is is it as a result of the peer pressure that goes on within among them or is it in a bid to impress each other like i'm hard i'm hard i can i'm 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 capable i'm capable of this I, i'm i'm a bad girl i'm a bad see i don't understand i don't know i'm asking what do you think what do you think that that makes them like i have this type of wickedness in them where did i who was i don't know there's i don't know whether this something just came to my mind now and i can't remember if i read it somewhere or if a youtuber told this story or something saying something about her cousin i think a be family friend used to bully her in school in school this person whether it was cousin or family friend would act as if she doesn't know this person and bully her with her friends and everything I don't, I, I, don't where, I don't know where I read this story. I'll be listening or watch the video. Shabo is a thing. It happened. How can you, your, your, your cousin, I'll be your family friend that you know very well. You know very well. And then you go to school because of your friends. Like you bully the person and act as if you don't know the person. Somebody you're supposed to, to, to bring on your side and try and protect since you have that type of power and that type of influence or what did I call it to bully people. Why not? As an, uh, I can't, I can't understand it. I can't understand it. I went to a boarding school and none of my child will go to a boarding school. They will go from home and come home to me every day. Very good. That is me. That's, that's me. These are the comments that's me. 
I said I will come and read out here. There, see, that particular post on Insta blog it had over ten thousand comments. Yeah, some of the comments were were for boarding schools, saying that they also went to boarding schools for so 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 years and they came out fine. Did you really? What did you really come out fine? <laughs> As in, did you did you really come out fine? Is it not the reason why most people are angry today? See, boarding school, like I said, is like a concentration camp. In this guys why do we like to normalize rubbish why do we normalize suffering in nigeria is it normal like is it not a form of abuse it's a form of abuse but we normalize it see <laughs> but when we read stories of how stepmothers were abusing their their stepchildren or how madams abuse house helps and everything to us, we consider that abuse. It is abuse, though. But why don't we also consider what goes on in boarding schools as abuse as well? Because that thing is abuse of the highest order. And I don't see why it should be allowed to go on. There are boarding schools abroad. And I can bet, I can bet that they don't treat children the way they do in Nigeria. How can you, like I said, you go, you send your, your, your child to school with provisions and the child will come back without provisions. They would molest your child. They will carry your child's things. They will seize everything. They will suffer your child. Your child is like, it's like a, a, a concentration camp. I keep saying it. You know how they make children suffer. That's what it is. Like, huh. see, mm? I'm not saying, I'm not making this video for the purpose of convincing you that has already made up your mind. In case you're one of those, you've, you're watching me and you've already made up your mind that when we behave with the, your child must go to body school and experience it. By all means, go ahead. Feel free. Feel free. Oh. I don't, I don't know. I just, I just made this video to come. I'm, well, it's like a rant. I'm ranting. I'm ranting about these things because I don't understand it because they make me so sad. I don't like it when defenseless children are made to suffer like that what is the need like to what end why would i send i can't do it i cannot i can't my nephew yeah my husband's nephew which is also my nephew he went to boarding school mm? <laughs> guys under three months when this boy came back home because when they brought him home they brought him straight to my house and then from there he went home I couldn't stop staring at him. I could see all his bones. All his bones, even his cheekbones. Everything was just jutting out. I was looking at this boy. I was speechless. And when I found my voice, I was just asking him, they don't feed you? They don't, they don't need to feed you people? Like, you've not been eating. Have you not been eating? And he couldn't even talk. He was just smiling. He was just smiling because... And in most cases, the most painful part is that in most cases, even when these, when these children complain to their parents of the horrors that they are going through, their parents will be like, it's, it's so that you will be strong. So that it will make you strong. What type of smelling strength? See, uh, you can tell that I'm tired as I'm talking, right? Nitsune <laughs> is exhausting me from inside. What type of smelling strength? So your child cannot be strong in other ways. It has to be through boarding school, through suffering. We like suffer in Nigeria. And then we'll complain that government likes to make us suffer. Why? What's the need? What is the need? What's the need of the suffering? This boy, he couldn't smile. He, he couldn't say anything. He was just smiling. And he's still in boarding. He, well, I think he has finished. He, he's still there. He finished there. No matter the complaint, his parents left him there. I said, if... If I was still in Nigeria and my children say that they want to go, they want to experience it, I will let them go. But if I if I want and want and go there, visiting day, and see that they are looking an inch smaller than how I sent them there, we are going home. From there, ona, anya gocha, we are not doing again. Anyway, end of the video. Comment section open as usual. Hmm? Let me know what do you think. What do you think about this boarding school matter? Today was a rant. The other boarding school video, I'm going to put it in the on the end screen so that you can watch it if you do not watch it. My boarding school experience, even though I did not go, shall I go and watch it? So 
what do you think let me know about it let us know share whatever you want to share there i'm eager to read as always i would like to interact with you in the comment section this video is long i know that it is long and if you've watched up till now eh i'll put you in prayers god the way god will summon you with blessings there eh? you're not gonna you're not gonna understand you are not gonna understand it for sticking with me <laughs> to this point thank you so much my name is nazo eze again for those that are seeing my face for the first time and i'm begging you to please subscribe and follow me on instagram as well thank you so much god bless you stay safe and we are gonna see ourselves in the next video bye